Welcome back everybody and welcome to another episode of our Minecraft Let's Build series. We are on episode 14 and I have something very special I want to show you guys today. So I hope you guys stick around and enjoy the video. Once again, welcome back everybody to another episode of our Minecraft Let's Build series. And look at that sun rising over there. Oh my goodness. So this episode is going to be mostly like a, mostly a maintenance episode, I guess. Uh, finished up a lot of things that weren't complete in the past. Um, as you can kind of see, I started the storage system a little bit as far as covering it up and getting all that ugly redstone uh, taken care of. Um, and look at that beautiful path right there. So I have a whole bunch to show you guys. Our project of the day is actually over there. And I will show that at the very end. Um, this won't be an extremely long episode. Um, I'm going to try not showing that to you guys over there. Uh, nothing's changed in the house so far. Um, next episode, I believe I'm going to be doing a little bit to it. Um, kind of wrapping up some things like the kitchen. Getting some of the glass done. And getting some of the exterior work done. Uh, you can see how that pillar right there is just kind of hanging off into nowhere so I'll be getting that done next episode uh first let's go over here and check see i just got distracted already look at that but uh it does kind of look okay i guess um just ignore these those will be gone i just needed those to build up but i added this path in i kind of had it started for god forever probably since like episode eight and so I finally added this in. The redstone is not in yet. That's something I will be also be, also be doing uh, by next episode. But this leads out to our community village over here. Um, we don't have any new uh, houses over there yet. I do make my videos like in batches and I make them, you know, a couple weeks ahead of when they actually come out. So if you do like leave a comment or something and you do make a house and your house isn't shown until, you know, next few episodes, um, that's because I make my videos a couple weeks in advance, so that's the reasoning for that. So this is all good. Um, it was a little bit of a pain because I did have cobblestone here, like regular cobblestone. And I wanted uh, just regular stone slabs, so I had to rip all that up and put all this in. And oh, it was a good bit of fun. So uh, this, I'm probably going to keep this. I'm going to take that right there. <laughs> I'm going to probably going to keep this for a little bit um, until I get like a storage, a uh, community storage area put in over here somewhere. Probably along the front here, but uh, I'm just gonna keep this here for now because this is all the stuff we kind of use to build around there. So, and I'm gonna take these for our area that I'm gonna show you guys. So, then I added in this gravel path. This leads out to our uh, mob area, our little mob house. I know a lot of this stuff is just kind of little things, but this is kind of stuff that I would have been wanted to be doing for a while now, but I just never got along to it. Um, this looks all right, I guess. I'm kind of not too good at making this like broken looking paths. Um, I wanted something simple. I tried laying down like mossy oak and stuff like that and it just didn't look good. So I went ahead and did that. I never noticed that, <laughs> but I went ahead and did this. Um, it looks all right. I kind of, whenever people draw my world, they always end up finding this place but they never know what it is or like how to get to it, but it takes them like days to even find this place. They just see it off in the horizon when the sun rises. So now they'll actually have a good chance of actually finding it uh, by using this path because it's right there. I think it kind of looks cool. Um, I'll be doing these on a lot of different places. I won't be doing the uh, standard path that we usually do over there. And that dog has been there, man, for a while now. Oh my God. Um, oh. Oh, I don't have shears. Ah, that sucks. That sucks. But uh, the reason why I'm freaking out over sheep is for our next project on episode 15. I am building... Sorry, are you serious? Every time we do an episode, man. Every time. But uh, next episode, we're going to be... What the hell is going on over here? What? I can't... How do you even get up there? Get back in there. Jesus. 
<sighs> okay, so next episode, the project that we're doing requires a lot, a lot of... This isn't cotton, what is this? Wool. That's what it is. A lot of wool. So, uh, let me try to get in here without... Okay. So, that's why I've been trying to harvest these guys, and if you can tell, some of you can already probably figure it out, but, uh, what I'm going to be making based on the colors of the sheeps, which are red and white. So you can probably already tell what I'm going to be making next episode. But I need a whole bunch of it. And so I only had two sheep over here. I had Jeb, the uh, color changing one, which I just snipped. Yeah, there he is. There is Jeb. And uh, I only had Jeb and one other green one. And I totally forgot that you can actually dye them. Ah, crap. I forgot that you can actually dye sheep. So I did that. That's why I have all this stuff in here. Uh, to make white and red ones. So I had the green one for a long time. And I bred uh, the green one and Jeb together. And they made more green ones. But uh, one thing I am surprised about Jeb. I didn't know this. Um, whenever you have a sheep that changes colors like that. They do not drop the color of the, sh the wool that it's on at that given time. It's always going to be white. Always going to be white. So I didn't know that. I was kind of looking forward to getting a bunch of different ones. Um, and another thing that's happening. Jesus. So, the reason why this happens, I'm going to try figuring out a way to make this stop, because up there I have my Iron Golem spawner, um, and this just happens to be close enough that all of these spawn. This is crazy. Oh my god, they spawn over there too on the other side. We can probably go over there really quick and check it out. Um, oh, it's just crazy, man. I'm losing so much iron by that. Not that I need it, but... And they're just, they're always walking around everywhere. See... There's a whole, like a whole gaggle of them just chilling over there. It's crazy. Oh, crap. So, uh, before I did this episode, I started recording. My, uh, my iron farm, the clock on it locked up. And so I had to go back underground and oh, go into the maintenance room, I mean, and go ahead and fix it. So it locked up for some reason. But since then, it's only been 10 minutes. I got over 300 iron within 10 minutes. As you can see with those five stacks, so that is good. That is good. There's a lot of golems in there. Some of them are glitching out. That's probably where a lot of those came from, right there. Um, I went ahead and started harvesting these to see how much yield I'll be getting off of them, and I got a pretty good amount. The potatoes I just went ahead and replanted, but uh, I only have two or three layers filled up in this wheat one, and I, I mean I got that. So I think when it's done, I'll be getting probably around six to eight hundred wheat. Uh, every time I pull it, so that's that's pretty good. Um, really soon before the episode 25 uh, mark we hit for that world tour and our new unveil, I'm gonna be doing uh, finishing this. This is something that we've had since the very beginning. It's always been here, and I've been kind of slacking on that. But one other thing that did happen, as you can see, I cleared this right here because something's going here very soon. Wink, wink, wink. But. Uh, one thing that did happen for some reason is that the redstone here was messing up just on this path going down there and like with our lighting and stuff like that um something that happened i must have wired it wrong i guess and i don't know how i did that because it's really simple but what it would do is it would stay on throughout the entire day even when all these other ones turned off these would stay on and i think is what i did is that the redstone lighting that i had right here i actually had a accidentally had a wire leading to it uh, two of them so it would get powered on and then that would power that redstone wire the redstone wire would lead back around to the light and just be an endless cycle and then that would power the whole strip uh, so it took me probably a whole minute to figure out what the problem was where it was causing being caused at um so oh you can see it uh so that's our that's our project of the day right there um and mr george man he, ever since I built this path, he has been getting up on here and just kind of walking around. Um, as you guys know, he lives over there by the flower. He protects the flower. So he put this here. Um, and we made him from this very vine right here. But he's been getting very ambitious lately and just kind of walking around everywhere. I don't think he likes the donkeys and horses over there. But anyway, so I finished all this up. This is all finished. It's not lit yet. I don't have the redstone wiring hooked up to it. Um, that'll also be next episode. I'll have that done, hopefully. 
Um, but here is it. So, if any of you know this, I'm sure every single person out there in the Minecraft world knows this. This is Stampy's Love Garden. Alright, and for people that do not know this, uh, Stampy is a pretty big Minecraft YouTuber. He started right around the beginning, probably, um, on 360. And his world's amazing. I really suggest you guys go and check it out. But, uh, yeah, he has it on 360, and I've watched him ever since he first started. I don't watch him so much more now, because he's more, uh, like, kid-oriented now, with kind of stuff he does. But it's still cool to, like, watch him every now and again. He has some really, really cool ideas, and his world's absolutely amazing. But something that he does is that every episode, he puts somebody new in his love garden. Uh, whether they're a new subscriber, someone that's commented on his videos, saying how much they like him, whatever. Um, so, anything like that. And it's basically here to help show support and show his appreciation for uh, his subscribers and all they do for him. So I'm going to be doing the same thing. i really been wanting this for a while. So uh, I thought I'd go ahead and do this. And what this chest is for is just more signs for the future. A uh, crafting table just to have one. His looks a little bit different. He doesn't have any flowers or anything. It's just, you know, this all the way around. So, but I wanted to put flowers in to make it a little bit more decorative and I wanted to show it off because you know it's the new update man so but this is an exact replica of it um, and I have a couple signs I have up from a couple videos ago that I'd like to go ahead and give shout outs to uh, we have dragon lord one two one three and we also have cookie wolf and friends I believe he has a YouTube channel um, you know I've talked to him a few times about my world and stuff and they're pretty cool guys so Thank you guys, I really appreciate it, all the support you show me on these channels. If you'd like to be in the Love Garden, uh, just comment on the video, or, you know, subscribe, or something of that nature, and I'll make sure to add you in the future. Alright, so, I'm putting some flowers out here. Uh, as you can see, maybe, out here in the back, I left this open, because our new project section is going to be right up there. Um... You guys could probably figure it out by now what it's going to be. But that's where the new one's going is up there. I really needed to put something on that mountain. And I'm really sorry it's raining. This is horrible. But uh, yeah, I finished this path up. I feel like, feel like it looks pretty cool. Uh, it leads all the way to our first home. Because um, a lot of people that get on here... They always ask where I started at, and I really started over there, that's where I spawned in, but this is the first actual place I made. Uh, it's beautiful, right? Yeah, I, I don't know. It started off with just this bottom box, and then we added the top story to it uh, for storage and stuff like that. But, it's something I'm never going to take- what the heck? Have any of you guys ever seen that before? Wow, that is weird. Okay, but it's something that I can't get over that. It's something I've had for a long, long time. Uh, I made this world on July 31st of last year, I think. No, no, the year before that. Jesus. So it's almost two years old. I've had this series going since July 31st, but I'm never going to tear this down. It's something I'm always going to keep. It's always cool to look back at what you had and then what you have. <laughs> so it's pretty cool. So I finally put this in. I love it. Uh, people that join the world and I'll be able to follow the path and see all these cool things that are being built. Um, just make sure if you come on, please don't kill George. Uh, he's a good person, man. He's a good person. So, I'm really surprised it's raining. This is crazy. It rains all the time on the seed. I don't understand it. Uh, this, I've come to the conclusion this is broken. Um, well, it's not broken, but I can't, like, breed anymore for some reason in this world for cows. Sheep all day long, but not those. This is my little storage chest for these, because these guys have been just spitting them out, man. I'm really going to have to make a storage room um, for the cows and sheep here, for the cows and chickens here really soon, because the chickens are just... It's crazy how much stuff they're putting out all the time. But that's all I got for you guys. I really hope you enjoy the Love Garden. I'm, I'm really, really super excited about that, guys. I really do appreciate it. Um, all the nice comments you put down there and uh, everything you have good to say about the channel. And I apologize again for being away. Um, I'm definitely going to be doing Mondays and Fridays, I think. So this one will probably be released on a Monday. 
and episode 13 will be released on a Friday. I've had that recorded for about a week now, so I'm going to go ahead and uh, schedule some release on Friday, and then I'll release these on Monday. You know, so we'll do Mondays and Fridays. That's something I think we'll be able to do pretty easily. So that's all I got for you guys. I really, really appreciate it. This is a nice view, actually. Not too bad. But I really appreciate it, guys. Uh, all the support you gave me on this channel. It's been it's been awesome. Um, we're about to hit 1,000 views on this series alone, which to me is awesome, especially because we're only on channel 14. And I don't know. It just, it just means a lot to me. So I really appreciate it, guys. Thank you for watching so much. If you haven't yet, please subscribe and leave a like on this video. It really, 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 really helps out a lot. So thank you guys so much, and I will see you on the next one.